What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we've got a trailer for the Exo Zombies mode which is going to be included in the DLC coming January for Advanced Warfare with the first map pack which is called Havoc. We've got a little teaser trailer for the actual Exo Zombies mode, just the Zombies mode itself which is really really exciting. We get a little bit of a look at what these zombies will look like, some of the settings we're going to be taking place in and also the characters we're going to be playing as and playing with. So let's take a look at some of these images and kind of like still shots I'll take out of the trailer. And you can see just kind of like the setting is very dark, very similar to the Zombies as we would expect it very very cool settings and obviously it's kind of like after a lot of bombs have went off the kind of setting and the dialogues throughout the trailer is someone talking about how atlas dropping the bombs and basically creating a zombie apocalypse if you don't know the manticore dna bombs in the campaign advanced warfare they're basically designed to only target specific dna groups so they'll obviously uh, kind of track all the friendly dna groups and anything that is not in the actual database of dna it will kill so it's kind of like a very very strange biological weapon it creates these zombies right here and it's kind of like a zombie apocalypse breakout that we have to deal with. You can see some of the settings and places we're going to be actually fighting the zombies in. And of course, a lot of them are kind of like bio labs and kind of test chambers and very, very strange buildings where these experiments would go on in these zombies. And they did kind of lay the groundwork for zombies very nicely in the campaign of advanced warfare. There are a ton of these body bags, as you can see here, with just very strange humans in here that I think have been killed by the manticore bombs. And they were kind of like kept here. Some were incinerated. And there are a lot of very strange things in the campaign. And uh, even some of the multi player maps like uh, Biolab for example there are bodies just floating in some sort of fluid so there was a lot of groundwork for zombies to actually take place you can see it's definitely got a lot of story behind it that I'm very interested to find out for and uh, you can see some very very creepy stuff as we would expect with zombies now let's get into actual zombies themselves here we can see a very nice uh, kind of like image of what they all look like we see a group of them and the most interesting thing is the colors of their eyes of course you might remember from the Black Ops series of zombies the colors of our eyes were kind of like coordinated to who's controlling them like Samantha or Rick Toffin and uh, they were kind of like uh, integrated to the story whereas here they've also got different colored eyes some of these have these kind of orangey yellow eyes uh, you can see them kind of this one in front is jumping up with his exosuit on his back and uh, you can see some of the background they've got these blue eyes and they've got like electricity flowing through them which is strange maybe they're able to shock you or stun you of some sort and there's also this red zombie right here which looks very strange can't really tell what he might do perhaps something involving fire or burning you but it appears they do have some sort of abilities beyond just just being able to slash you and obviously they don't have weapons they're still traditional zombies but they do have exoskeletons and as you can see right here this one is jumping straight up now where this doesn't actually change all that much you probably remember from black ops 2 zombies uh, they could jump very very high It also also sprint very fast like if you were in a high building they would jump straight up to the second story of a building it's very strange actually for a zombie to do but uh, it's pretty much going to be the same as black ops 2 zombies when they could jump up to a building or a very high spot if you are hiding there as well so it's gonna be very interesting to see all the movement mechanics and how kind of your exosuits kind of interact with their exosuits and places you can go and you can't go and how you can move around the map and how big the map is going to be. You can see a character on top of some sort of object here and he lets off some sort of like grenade, kind of like an EMP looking grenade or kind of like a thunder gun kind of blast. It kind of shoots out this uh, big white pulse of explosion that seems to affect the zombies in some way. But uh, there's a lot of interesting things that will be coming out of this zombie. Of course, we're only about two or three weeks away from the first bit of like information where we'll probably get a trailer for the actual Havoc map pack coming later in the end of January. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to stay up to date with the latest Advanced Warfare news, make sure to subscribe and stick around to my channel for all the latest information. If you enjoyed this video and found it informational, give a like rating and I'll see you guys on the next video.